Okay, in this video, you are going to see a simple demonstration of how to do a rolling gauge or a rolling hit or a rolling set, whatever you call it, wherever you are in the country. But basically, if you don't know what that means is, you're gonna learn how to take advantage of the timings of plastering and interlock multiple gauges together. Now, when you use this process, you can continue to just keep going. And the only thing that stops you at any point is how much time you wanna spend in work. So in a comfortable shift, one man can easily use 18 to 20 bags of plaster before home time. Now I need you to understand something. As of yet, I haven't seen a video on this on the whole of the internet anywhere. Not on YouTube, not on any other video hosting sites. So this is probably going to be the first time a lot of you guys have seen anything like this. Now I need to warn you, this is not for beginners. If you are just learning to plaster and you're watching this channel, this is an advanced technique. This isn't what I want you to start doing, okay? This is for the boys that are putting big hits on every day. You know, maybe they're putting like 60 square meters, 70 square meters on site. I mean, you can put 100 square meters on. Once you start reaching the upper limits of how much plastering you can do, this is when this comes in handy. It's also got other applications, but I'm gonna tell you all about that at the end of the video. Now, all the way through this video, I explain specific points that are dotted throughout the video. So if you skip any part of it, you're going to miss something vital. Do not skip parts of this video. Make sure you watch it in, in its entirety and pay attention. Now, there are limitations and adaptions to this technique. Okay, and at the end of the video, I'm going to show you the limitations because you need to understand them. Otherwise, this could go terribly wrong. So you need to understand the limitations and I'll also show you ways to adapt it for different situations and different circumstances. Now, can you see this chart? I suggest you take a screenshot of this now. Get a screenshot of this on your phone and I'll tell you what each part says. This is your ceiling. This doesn't have to be ceiling. This could be walls. It could be just right surfaces, whatever you want. I've just wrote ceilings down. Ceiling one, ceiling two, ceiling three, ceiling four, ceiling five, ceiling six. Could be wall seven, wall eight, wall nine. Now there's no limit. You can keep going down here as much as you want. You could have 60 bloody surfaces on. It doesn't matter. Here we've got first coat, flatten, second coat, flatten, first wet trial, second wet trial, and a polish. Now, I've included flatten because I was going over Artex ceilings in this video. Most of the time, I don't flatten between coats, so you could omit this on your little chart. If you don't usually flatten between coats, you don't need to use that. You don't have to put this stage in, but I'm just going to leave it in there for now anyway. Notice the little red star above second coat. That's important. Now, I'm going to quickly show you how this works, and then you can watch it in real life. So, you're going to put your first coat on your first ceiling, yeah? Once your first coat's on, take the box. You're gonna put your, you're gonna flatten the first coat. Once you've done that, tick the box. Then you get a second coat, tick the box. Now there's a star there. When you hit the star, that means that you drop down to the next, the next surface, the next stage or the next ceiling, yeah? So your second coat, and then before you go any further in this process, your first coat here. Okay, and then you start at your top and you work your way down. So then, after first coating the second ceiling, I'll come back, I would flatten, and I'll drop down and flatten. I would first wet trial, and I would second coat. Now, there's a little star there, so straight away, I drop back down again, and I put my first coat on the third surface. Then we start at the top, second wet trial, flatten, flatten. Polish, first wet trowel, second coat. Now, star again. You can drop down again and put another surface on there. Yeah, this is finished now, the first ceiling. So now, second wet trowel, flatten, flatten. Yeah, then you come over here. You polish, your first wet trowel, your second coat. Well, guess what? You can drop down again and put another surface. Get the gist of it? That's how this system works. Let's show you how it happens in real life. Here's the last little bits of SBR going on the ceiling. Now, you can use PVA glue, you can use blue grit, you can use whatever you want. We use SBR, but look, it's going on the ceiling now. People always think that we've missed this bit out when we don't record it, so here it is for you. 
Now Kieran was just putting the glue on ceiling three. This is ceiling one. And here's ceiling two. Okay, so there's three ceilings. The one where Kieran was gluing and these two as well. Now I like board finish because it sets faster. And also get a cup of tea now because you won't have time in a minute. If you have to get water from inside the customer's house, make sure you use a nice clean bucket brand new. Okay, so today we're going to fully demonstrate how to do a rolling set. And this way you can put as much plaster as you possibly want on. Now we're going to break it into three separate ceilings. So there's, this is ceiling one, and here's ceiling two. And follow me this way. Ceiling three. Now this is a small example, and I'll show you how it works, but you can scale this up to you know, bigger ceilings, or if you've got a massive ceiling, you can use the same principles and do it, roll the whole ceiling. You'll, you'll see, as the menu goes on, you'll start to understand what's happening. Ceiling's been sealed, we've denipped them, we've sealed them. This is a 1990s build, 19 some, 90 something. We know there's no um, lime wash paint up there, so we've got to just skim straight over the Artex. But we have checked it to make sure it's a good solid mix of Artex. There's no, it's not soft, it's not going to peel away, so we're good to go. This is the first coat going on ceiling one. Now at the end of this video, I'm going to show you a little chart and show you a nice simple way to have it wrote down. Look here, this is a little demonstration for you to make it nice and simple. I'll show you this more, you know, I'll show you this better when I get when I get a chance later. Let's just, you know, ignore me chicken scratches. But there's a nice simple little chart that you can follow so you don't get confused when you're doing this. Now, I've got to emphasize as well, this is not for beginners to be doing, okay? So if you're just getting into plastering, don't do this. What you want to do is mix one bag up, yeah? First coat everything, wash and clean out, mix half the bag up and second coat everything. Get used to just doing that, that's about the most you want to do. Eventually, the speed you'll sort of get up to before you need to do a rolling set is, you can use two bags to first coat and one bag to second coat, on site, that is about the, the sort of limit that you want to be putting on before you start incorporating rolling sets to do bigger hits. Are you enjoying this video? Look, do me a little favour, hit the like button. I think the most likes I've ever got on any one video is about 100. So let's just see if we can beat that today and get more than 100 likes. Cheers, guys. <laughs> this just takes the rush out of the job. So you can take your time. You can go at a nice steady pace without killing yourself, but it gets, it can get complicated. So you've got to be switched on to what you're doing and not panic. That's why it's important to know exactly what you're doing before you attempt this. The first bag on, Kieran's making, mixing up the second bag, and that's how far we've got on the ceiling round to there. So I'll go over here and show you. Ceiling number one is about two thirds on. That's one bag gone. Kevin's mixing up bag number two now. There we go. Kevin's made the second mix a little bit wet. You know, just to test me, mm. to see if I can handle it. Now, it's important to note, didn't mix a full bucket. We only mixed enough to finish ceiling one okay because you need fresh gear for each stage of this we can't have the leftovers of this waiting to go on that ceiling whilst we're busy with this one so you grab fresh gear for each section that you're doing
Now that's season one on. Now because it's hard text, I'm going to flatten it with the speed skimmer. But you omit that stage if you're just skimming walls and you don't need to flatten your first coat. This is just an extra little stage to do with our tech sealants. So if you're not doing our tech sealants, you don't need to do this bit. But now we're going to get sealing one flattened in. Now, to keep it from getting too complicated, if you the first time you're doing this, I'm just showing you how to use this little chart. That's sealing one, first coated. So you tick that off. Now, it's also been flattened, so I can tick that off. Now, in a minute, I'm gonna second coat it, and see the little star above the second coat? I'm gonna second coat it, and once that's ticked off, then I go to sealing two and first coat that. And then each stage works Backwards then, until I get to the second coat for ceiling two, and then we drop down to ceiling three. That's why doing this, writing a little chart out, is easier the first couple of times you do this until you get used to it. Once you've done this day in, day out for, you know, a year, you, can, you don't have to think about it. You just automatically know where you need to be. But just because it's a new sort of system, a new way of doing things, keep on top of it. Right, we're just waiting for this to go in a little bit. And just as a little... <laughs> Look, people say to me, does Kurt drop anything? Does he does he clean it up when no one's looking on camera? Right, look at these dust sheets. That's how much I drop. None. Oh, wait a there. Oh, there's a bit, look, there's a bit here. That's one from this job. <laughs> look, it's, it's rock hard. It's off. Someone, I think it was from yesterday. And uh, that was probably Kieran. All right, it wasn't me. <laughs> Kieran's mixing up again now. He's mixing up some nice, fresh stuff. To second coat sealing number one. So now the second coat is going to go on sealing number one. Look at this, Rick. This is where we're up to on our little chart. So the first coat, that's it. So the first coat has been flattened. Now it's getting the second coat, and there's a little star there. You'll see how this starts to roll now. The only thing with doing a rolling set is there's not really any specific break when you can have your dinner. So, <laughs> you've just got to sort of um, open your butties up and, and just take a bite every time you go past. Okay, that's ceiling one, second coated. Now, let's just show you on the chart again. Ceiling one, second coated. So we take that. Now, we've got that star there. So what that means is now we don't flatten this yet. Now we start again, we go back down to here. So ceiling two, need the first coat now. And then, then we're gonna start working our way like this. Okay, so ceiling two is gonna get first coated. Right, so there's ceiling two getting first coated. Get off my trap. <laughs> In my way. Gotta be very careful not to knock things. Tight little space, I'm a little bit big for little spaces. <laughs> Okay, so this is ceiling number two, nearly on. 
well, a couple more seconds, it'll be on. Now, I'm not gonna flatten this one yet. I'll show you on a little chart, but that one needs flattening first, and then this one gets flattened. So that's sealing two first coated. Now we start back at the top. We flatten sealing one, and then we flatten sealing two. Yeah, and then we first wet trial sealing one. Right, that's ceiling one flattened. Now it's time to flatten ceiling two. So that's like the second coat been flattened. That one's like its first coat, now that's gonna get flattened. I'll switch into a smaller speed skin because it's a fine little space. You don't even have to use these. You can just do it your trial, just takes longer. I just, I'm lazy, so I use these. But we're gonna flatten this one now. So that now is sealing two flattened in. So now we give this one the first wet trowel and then we'll give this one a second coat. And then after the second coat, we'll hit the little star on the chart. We go to sealing number three and first coat that one. Okay, and then the process we just follow down each stage, going each sealing at a time. Right, so this is sealing one. Nearly finished its first wet trowel. After this, we go to sealing two and second coating. Now remember on the jar, little star, that means then we'll go to sealing three and first coat it. Then we'll be back in here to give this its second wet trowel. We're onto the sealer in there for its flatten and so on. Okay, you just gonna keep up with your little chart. Okay, so this is ceiling number two, getting its second coat. And then after this, we go to ceiling number three. Now, in the meantime, Kieran's had to go down to the truck and go and get another bag of finish. So that's gonna be six bags. Get me that's one man doing six bags in one go so you can see i mean these are only little ceilings so this isn't super necessary to do a rolling set but i'm just showing you how you do it the principles behind it how it's possible so what i'll do is now i'll get this on second coated and then we're going to ceiling three to first coat that one okay so look ceiling two has been second coated now, again, we're at the star, so that means we drop down again, and we start here, ceiling three, first coat, and then we're coming back in here to do ceiling one, second, wet trowel, flatten, flatten, and so on, okay? Let's go, ceiling three, come on. Okay. Now, whilst I'm putting this on, Kate, just go and show them the other two ceilings. Okay, so this is the sealer number three, just being finished first coated. Now, you've got to stay, here's the thing with this, once you enter into this rolling set, it's like entering the dragon, <laughs> you, you can't get out of it, you've got to stay in the system. If you start skipping a step or going to the wrong ceiling or the wrong surface if you're doing walls or whatever, if you miss one out and you get it confused, it'll all go wrong. That's why this is not for beginners. You've got to sort of know what you're doing. Now, that is, that's ceiling three, first coated. 
Now, come on, come on, mate. Let's go back to our little chart. Oh. Ceiling three is first coated. So now it's time for the second wet trial on ceiling one, and then we'll flatten ceiling two, and then we'll flatten ceiling three, we'll polish ceiling one, and so on. So second wet trial on ceiling one, and then after this, we'll be on to ceiling two. I keep going, ceiling one, ceiling two, ceiling three. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> it's just what's going through my head, but you've got to make sure you get the system right. That's why I definitely recommend before you get into doing this that you use the little chart so you know where you're up to at all times. Because if you, if you get it wrong, you will suffer the consequences. It's exciting. <laughs> Okay, so that's that one, second wet trial. Now we go to ceiling two, flatten it in, and then we go to ceiling three, and flatten that one in. Take this. What you're doing is you're just taking advantage of the timings of plastic, and that's why it's gotta be, you put your, your next surface on, at exactly the, the right time, just after your second coating. If there's anybody that's put big hits on one now, but that is when you've got spare time. After you've laid your second coat on, that's when you've got a little bit of space. You can't, you can't put your first coat on, flatten it, and then go and put something on, because it needs second coating. But after the second coat's on, that's when you've got a little window of opportunity to put another little bit on. And the same again, it goes down, because as you go further down the set, there's more time in between trials, and that's what gives you the opportunity to be able to do this. That's that one, flattened in. Now we know we're gonna to go to ceiling three. Come on, let's go. Flatten the first count in here. Nice and wet. Just takes the pressure off, you know. Take the pressure off you. this awkward little bit to get to there don't forget you can always do that with your speed skin so it goes in awkward little spots okay so that's ceiling three just flattened so now back to ceiling one we polish ceiling one you can ceiling two it's first wet trial and then we second coat ceiling three okay Right, and just for any beginners that are watching this as well, someone was asking me about fat, we call it of fat. This now, this sort of fat that comes off at the end is no good for filling anything with. Stuff at the beginning, yeah, so when we're going over that one, the second coat trial is not, <coughs> we can use that. But this stuff, you can't fill face out of this, it's just milky, it, it doesn't set, it just turns to dust, okay, so... You should have your ceiling well flat, all the hollows filled out before now. This, you're just washing this off, you don't use this for anything. So this is now basically ceiling one, finished. Um, <sighs> have to clean up around the edges. But this is it, basically getting polished. This is, uh, this is fine now, after this. Um, we've still got a second coat, ceiling number three yet. But, all in the process, we're going to seal number two first before we go to seal number three. Right, so that's that one polished. We're still going to just clean around the edges, but now we'll go to seal number two, 
and give it its first wet trial. So come with me. Let's get out of here. It's just ready, just nice. Shower heads, pain in the backside. Smile. <laughs> How do you do? So that now is seal number two. I've had its first wet trial. Now we're gonna go to seal number three. Kieran's just mixed up. Oh, he's fast, you know. He's doing the filming and the mixing. Mm. So we've just mixed up enough now to give seal number three a second coat. <clears throat> we don't need to worry about seal number one now, it's finished. But the next stage, I will just go around and clean the edges down. It's not quite finished yet. We still need to just clean the edges down, but that's, I don't need to panic about that one anymore. That's that's out of the way now. So there we go, ceiling one's finished. Ceiling two is just like its first wet trial. So that's done. So now, second coat on ceiling number three. Going on this now. Okay, so that's seal number three, second coating. We're going to go back in, quickly mount the edge of seal number one, and then second wet trial for seal number two, and then flattening seal number three. Okay, cleaning down your angles, yeah, put your trowel in there like that and cut along and that way, this isn't touching the ceiling, I'm not digging into the ceiling, only the toes touching, you're cutting along, you're separating this from the ceiling and then you come along gently like this and just take the majority of it off, yeah, like that and then get your cloth, like that and you get a lovely a lovely finished angle, okay. <laughs> Fits in the way. This <laughs> is second wet trial for season two. Trying not to rip the electrics out. <laughs> and then and we're gonna go and flatten season one. Alright. <laughs> if, if I get electrocuted, don't film it, okay? <laughs> If you if I light up and my hair goes curly, we're cutting it out the scene, so I don't need to see that. Me squealing like a little pig. <laughs> the second wet trial now, we've just done on seal number two. Now we're gonna go in and flatten seal number three. Right, let's move this chest along, go back, go back. Abdul, go back. <laughs> Abdul come closer. <laughs> There we go, we're just flattening this in now. <coughs> Come on, there, case you can see. Follow me. There we go. Look at that. Okay, so this is the flattening in of ceiling at number three. Need to get in the bath. You the do. first time you've ever seen me in the bath, isn't it? And then you can move these around to get to where you need to go. Just put them back again because you don't get even pressure, but it does the trick. There you go. Focus. <laughs> Just keep it on focus. That's that one done. This one's ready for the polish next. And then that will be getting clean ground as well. And then we will be on the first wet trial. We'll be on the first wet trial for seal number three. That's it now. 
This one's getting the polish. <clears throat> oh, now, there's limitations to this, and I'm going to tell you about it at the end of the video. And there's also other ways that you can adapt it. You can adapt this to a gang of plasters so that each man has a specific role to do. Um, but we'll talk about that a bit more towards the end anyway. I'm going to get this polished now, and then uh, it'll just be the sealer number three to sort of finish off, and that's it. We'll be done. We'll clean up and we'll get out of here. Catching me scabby. <laughs> right, in a minute, pretend you didn't see this, in a minute, this gets its first wet trial. Okay. That's it now. Don't sneak up on me. <laughs> Dropped a bit. <laughs> Not like a seagull's had me. Now, yeah, I'll spin this. Around. So that's it now. Sealing one is finished. Sealing two is finished. I've just given the first wet trial to sealing three. I've only got two more stages. So that basically means now there's there's nothing for me to do. We can just sort of uh, relax whilst that goes off a little bit. And uh, our, our friend Kevin here. He's going to be busy cleaning everything up and getting everything packed away. So uh, as soon as we're done, we can just off we go. Okay, we are on second wet trial. So just after this, now it'll just be a polish and a clean up in here. Uh, the other two sealings are finished now and they're cleaned up. We've used um, six bags comfortably without breaking a sweat. Now these are only the principles of how to do this. You can just extend this as much as you want. I've showed you with like three separate stages. Uh, I could have showed you with two, but I wanted to show you how you go to the third one. Now you can keep going, you can add a fourth stage, you can add a fifth stage. You know, you can just, every time you get to second coat, your last stage, you can go and first coat something else again. And you can just keep going like that. I mean, I don't know why you'd want it. If you want to work all day non-stop, then this is how you do it. You get a lot more done. But, um, yeah, that's how you do it anyway. Makes it quite comfortable. Just means if you do a massive ceiling. Say this ceiling was absolutely huge. You could get down to really, you know, your first coat. And it needs flattening in the second coat. So then you go back, flatten in, and then second coat it. And when you get to your second coating, you've got time. You can put more of the ceiling on then. You know, and go a bag ahead each time. Don't go more than a bag. Okay, one bag's enough because if you try to put like another two bags on, say, by the time you get back there, it's gone too far. So, you know, you can come. To, I'll show you more of this on my whiteboard um, in the office. I'll show you shortly. Polish to do now. It's done key then here. If you want to just go out and clean down the edges and I'll then um, I'll go and rest me little tired wheels. <laughs> go sit in the van for a bit in the truck while she's tidy up like. Does that sound like a good deal? Yeah, I'll go for that off camera. It's lovely this, that's coming down nice. So there we are now. This is starting to dry out now. You're starting to get these dark patches appearing where the R text was higher and lower. So it looks, it looks a bit ropey when it's like that, but it's just because it's starting to set the thin parts, setting faster than the thick parts when we got over the R text. Sealing two is the same. All cleaned out nice, you know. Lovely. Let's go and have a look at sealing three. There we go, sealing three. That's not got any dark patches yet. See the uh, reflection of the light? That's not marked in the plaster. That's just because there's a torch on the camera. So now let's talk about how to adapt this so that you can do massive ceilings. So let's say a, an average size ceiling, you know, a big living room ceiling, for instance, is about 24 square metres. Four metres that way by six metres that way. Usually, 
what I will do is work down each side of the ceiling. So I would first coat this side of the ceiling, and then I'd come back down first coating this side of the ceiling, yeah, because you can reach the middle. So you're working around like a clockwise sort of motion. That's how I usually put a ceiling on. Now that isn't gonna work for a monster ceiling. You've gotta use a different technique, especially if you're gonna roll the set. So instead of going around the edges, we've got 10 meters this way by 20 meters this way. It's a 200 meter ceiling. What you wanna do is go in the typewriter method. So you work your way down the ceiling in stages. So I would take my first big stretch back and I'd probably get to about here, you know. So you wanna be coming, you wanna be coming down, first coating this part of the ceiling to there. Now, once I reached that part, I would then second coat this part of the ceiling. Once I've second coated it, I would then come back down like a typewriter and first coat this part of the ceiling. Flatten this bit in, yeah? Second coat this part of the ceiling and first coat this part of the ceiling, yeah? Trowel that, flatten that, second coat this. You understand the system and that way you can work all your way to the other end of the ceiling. Now the little joints in between each stage, they don't mind. It doesn't matter if they're slightly going off between them, it'll all blend into one. But this way, I've put on monster ceilings in the past completely on my own, okay? And that's how you do it. Oh, limitations. Whilst we've just got the same diagram, let me just show you the limitations because you, you've got to stick with the, the parameters. When you come in your first coat, you, this next stage, do not use more than one bag of plaster. You can only go forward as long as one bag will allow you. Because if you decided to put, say, another three bags on first coat, you're leaving this too long. It'll all go wrong. You can only go forward one bag at a time. Okay, no more than one bag. Make sure you always use clean, fresh water, okay? You can't use dirty water for this. It'll go wrong. Now, also, don't forget, if you want me to come and spend a day with you, working for you, for 10 quid, then hit the link in the description. We can come and do a job together. We can, we can do a day's tuition. You can have me work for you. Whatever you want, click on the description and you get me for a day. Also, if you found this video helpful, informative, and you appreciate the effort that I've gone through to deliver this information for you, and you want to buy me a nice cold pint, there's a link for that in the description as well. Cheers, guys. You know I love you. God bless.